So everyone with me so far about that? What's going on with that, with the mediumship uh, issue? So can you see how important it is to actually know the soul condition of the spirits you're communicating to? Very, very important. If their soul condition is one of deceit, in other words, they're totally interested in continuing to deceive you for malevolent reasons, then obviously they must be in the hells of the first sphere. If their soul condition is one of deceit, but they're willing to deceive you in order to teach truths onto the earth, then their soul condition will be anywhere between the first and the sixth spheres. But if they're on the divine love path, they will never ever choose to deceive you. The reason why is that on the natural love path, many people do feel that what's best for you, whether you know it or not, is what's best for you. <laughs> In other words, it's a bit like a mum or a dad saying to you, I know what's best for you, and maybe they do. Um, and you wanting to do something different, and they influence you through their influence because they're telling you, I know what's best for you. Now, that is not in harmony with the law of free will. The law of free will would enable you to do your own and make your own choices, even if your choices were going to be negative for you. That's the way God operates with you. And that's the way a spirit who's at one with God will operate with you. So that a spirit at one with God will actually allow you to go off on a path that's quite damaging to you. And they'll wait until you've exhausted yourself on that path and you plead with them to have some information again to get you back on the right path. Whereas a spirit on the natural love path will often not do that. They will heavily influence you if they feel that you are off the path that they feel is best for you. And for that reason, there is a lot of people that we speak to um, on the, about the divine love path who don't want to follow the divine love path only because the spirits with them are telling them not to do it. And the spirit influence is so great and powerful and their own emotional condition is so doubtful that they are easily influenced into not following a path that could be to their eternal benefit. And you will see this happen all the time in your own discussions with people around you as well. You will feel, particularly if you're a medium, you will feel the influence of the spirit who is with the person. 